Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Scorpio. This is going to be for the second half of your November from the 16th to the 30th. Uh, so this reading could be about anything, okay? Nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, you can apply this to any replacement. So we're going to take we're going to take a look at your over energies, okay? What's surrounding you guys? What you guys need to know? What you guys did? What you guys could expect for the second half of your month? And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. And what else you guys need to know? Look out for. Work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate. With you take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post um give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so what do we have here for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Over energies for Scorpio. What's surrounding Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? What can Scorpio expect for the second half of their November? from the 16th to the 30th for Scorpio. King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. This is your energy right here. So, you know, Scorpio, I feel like you're dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety here. And whatever this is, stress and anxiety, this is this has been ongoing here, okay? And I feel like you're trying to avoid it. You're turning your back on it. Some of you guys could be having sleepless nights here too. Yeah, there's, there's something that you don't want to face or that you're not ready to face yet, Scorpio. Okay, what else do we have? We have the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, I feel like there are big changes upon you here where, you know, you're going to realize that living this way is something that you don't want to do. And I feel like you're going to make some big changes here for yourself. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune here and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Nine of Cups here and the Four of Swords. Oh my. Scorpio, looks like you're finding bliss, you're finding peace, you're finding happiness here. Seems like, you know, the universe could be stepping in to give you this opportunity here. So I feel like you're sort of like, you're getting a message from the universe or a sign is dropping right in front of you. You know, some of you guys could be seeing a lot of like synchronicity, such as 1414 or something like that. Okay, uh, let's see. The King of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Death card, Scorpio. Look at you working on yourself here. Like, I feel like you're ha like, you know, I feel like you are avoiding it, but at the same time, you are working on it too. So I feel like you're taking your time with it. But yes, there is a major transformation upon you or that you're experiencing a major transformation. You know, the times that you are avoiding it, I feel like you're distracting yourself with work. So it's not like you're not productive, okay? Uh, Scorpio energy with the death card, the Wheel of Fortune here, and the Magician, King of Wands here, and the Six of Swords. Look at that. You're manifesting change here, okay? I, I feel like you're taking on whatever the universe is giving you. It's sort of like it's sort of like a bringing up, bring, bring it on sort of energy here. Okay, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Star. Wow, the Four of Swords here and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. I mean, we're missing one king. All the kings embody the Emperor here. Okay, so I feel like there's an energy of you leveling up. Okay, this is you. You know, finding happiness, optimism here, okay, healing, okay. So, you know, Scorpio, this is looking really, really good because I feel like at some point here, you felt like you couldn't get out of this, but you are getting out of this, okay. So let's see what, what we have here for Scorpio. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to look out for, work on here for um the second half of their November. All right, the full. Wow, look at that. New beginnings here, Scorpio. Looking really, 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 really good. The full Aries energy, Aquarius energy with the King of Pentacles. Look at that. You have every single king out on the table here. So, like I said, every single king is the embodiment of the Emperor. 
so you know there is an energy of you transcending okay there is there's uh you know uh, you're basically you know reaching or moving towards spiritual ascension you know keep in mind ascension takes several lifetimes to get to where you get to the point where you know you've cleared out all the karma that you could have okay from you know this current lifetime and previous lifetimes and, and the whole point of ascension is you know uh you know you you're basically uh, not reborn on this earth to keep doing the work to heal or you know uh, transcend so yeah I, I feel like that's that's coming to a, a close this is coming to a closing to you i feel uh because like i said I, I feel like you might have gone through several lifetimes of this uh, because i feel like you're highly conscious and highly spiritual here so i feel like you've done this multiple lifetimes okay um let's see what we have here with the queen of cups and the ten of wands and the knight of cups here and the eight of wands you could be releasing someone here too someone here that that wasn't really good for you this could be a romantic partner here yeah whoever this is this person basically bled all over you okay knight of cups and the eight of wands here so whoever this is this is an individual that's trying to communicate with you but you pulled so far ahead that you know for you there's no going back okay eight of wands looking good scorpio very very good the fool the strength card leo energy the king of pentacles and the seven of wands look at that you're stronger than you were ever before um you're a total warrior here uh, uh scorpio you are in warrior mode okay queen of cups ace of swords ten of wands and a tower here so there is somebody here that you've basically cut out of your life whoever this is this is an individual that's not okay with it they're not okay with being move they're not okay with this tower crashing on them okay uh but uh you know i feel like more so you know this tower that crashed on you you're rebuilding it okay for yourself this is your own tower here the uh knight of cups the five of swords the eight of wands here and judgment sagittarius energy we have someone here that's definitely looking for a reconciliation here but this could be an indication that you're just going through a huge 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 spiritual awakening and that you've been offered a second chance by the universe or a third chance or a fourth chance because you know in life we do go through these ups and downs these cycles okay so i feel like you're just coming out of a, a really 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 tough cycle scorpio okay so uh scorpio i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.